Ciao, this is Cristiano from Bright Minded and this is a quick and straight to the point video on how to sign a JAR file with a self-signed certificate created with OpenSSL. Now, I assume that you have created previously a certificate file and a, a private key file, in my case they're called localhost.crt and localhost.key. Um, if you don't know how to do that with OpenSSL, watch my previous video. The first thing we're going to do is run this program here. Uh, specifically, we're going to use OpenSSL and the PKCS12 program to create a new file called localhost.p12, which is a combination of the certificate file and the key file. Notice that it asks me for a password that will be used to secure this file. So make up any password and re-enter it again. And now you will notice that you have a localhost.p12 file. Now, as far as uh, Java is concerned, uh, this is basically a key store file, so a file that holds certificate and key data for Java. What we need to do now is merge this certificate data with the data in our existing key store file, if we have one. And we're going to do it like this, using the key tool uh, uh, program. What we're doing here, we are saying Please take the file localhost.p12, which is a key store file of type pkcs12, and merge it with the first record in the file, which is called .keystore in my home directory. Now, I didn't have a key store file, so .keystore in my home directory uh, didn't exist. So the program is actually trying to create one. And now it wants me to come up with a password to secure it. So please do come up with any password here, re-enter it, and now the program is asking me for the uh, key store that we just generated, the localhost uh, p12 uh, passwords, and we generated before, so please enter the uh, that password, and now we should be good to go. We should be able to sign uh, a jar file, so let's try it. In this directory, I have a jar file called test.jar and I want to sign it. I'm going to do it with this command here. Notice that it's asking me for the passphrase of the key store. This is the dot key store in my home directory key store. So please do enter that password. Now you'll see that it actually gives me a warning, but this warning has to do with the fact that the certificate I use has expired. So this is a test, so it doesn't matter. But let's verify that the jar file was actually signed. And we can do it this way, using this program here. Now notice that if everything went well, it's, it will say here somewhere that the jar is verified. Again, you'll see the same warning, but we don't care about that because this is just a, uh, a, a tutorial. So thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.